Hi there! With this tutorial I would like to explain how the simple room can be built in Rhino. Let's start with the new template. I opened it like large object millimeters and it's the screen you get in Rhino like uh, normally. Uh, you see four different views. I personally prefer to work with perspective and so if I double click here I will end up in perspective view. I can scroll, zoom in, zoom out with the wheel on my mouse. If I push the right button I can orbit. If I push shift and the right button I can move my object through the screen. So if you would like to come back to the previous views, just double click here. That's the way it works. Uh, let's start to build a room. Firstly, I made some measurements and it's just uh, laying next to my computer. So I'll just uh, take a look uh, on it once in a while. Let's start. I will, I would like to draw it with a polyline. Well, it will be a simple room, so actually you could do it with a rectangular as well. But, uh, well, let's try a polyline for now. Uh, you see that when I place my mouse on this uh, icon, you see kind of text. It's the way you can type the comments in a comment stroke. So you see polylines, so you can all push the button or type it here, and then you can get the same result. So you can place your first uh, point anywhere you want. I just do it here. And then you see that my line is going strictly 90 degrees. Uh, that's because my auto settings are on. If you don't like it, just push here. And it goes all the way. But because it's really a uh, room with uh, straight 90 degrees corners, I would prefer to have it on. Let's see, my first measurements are 3200. Zero, zero. And you see now the length of the line is uh, restricted with uh, the measurements I just uh, put into the command stroke. And I just have to show the direction which way I would like to have it and press enter. Uh, yeah, and click. And now the next one is uh, 4100 and just click there and then again 3200 and then you can click here or type C or just uh, click here and the line will be closed. So we draw a plan of the room. And now I would like to make a thickness of the walls and I, of course I can uh, draw the polyline again but why to make it that complicated. I would like just to offset this line. Actually I don't even know where the offset function is situated, I just type it. That's a good thing about Rhino that you don't need to know where the button situated you just start typing and you get what you want uh, let's see every time I, you get a comment here you always have different options you can just click on it and uh, well, see what's going to happen for example you can offset uh, both sides you see but well we don't want it now uh, so I just uh, escape for now and I type offset again um, distance. Uh, I will assume that my wall will be 150 millimeters enter and now you see the distance is uh, restricted and you just have to click on the side where you would like to have your thickness of the wall. Yeah well so far so good and now I would like to make the 3D walls out of it and actually I would like to make it in different layer uh, so I just when you start the program you have these layers here just like um, 
initial settings uh, just double click here for example let's call it uh, double click wall enter and then you select the lines and you type the new comment extrude curve well just with the offset, I don't know exactly where that button is, but I just know that I, that I would like to extrude them. So I start typing extrude. And what this is what we're going to get. Uh, but actually, I don't really like this view, because I prefer ghost view, so I can see what's uh, happening. And what I see is this are like two cookie cutters next to each other but I really would like to have it as a volume so I look at the different settings here you can choose for both sides for example well we don't need it now so I click it uh, once again no um, delete input it will just delete this uh, to initial lines and I would like to make it a solid so I click here once so you see yes now we have a solid and now I just need to push uh, the height of my roof to 790 this is my ceiling height enter so now I have a 3D of the walls and well I, I think the red is a bit too, too much so you can easily change the color here well, something a bit more natural uh, what we have to do now are the floor and the ceiling. I just put the floor on the, another layer, floor, and I just push this one. We still have that curve, and I type extrude. It's really magical uh, comment. And well, I put the thickness on 150 as well. Enter. So now we see the floor is appeared. Uh, I can make the ceiling uh, in the same way, but I am just too lazy for that. So that's why I just go into copy this here. And to copy that, I push this button. And you see, then when I'm touching something, you get that. Um, word end next to it or you get mid so it means that um, the snap function is on it's uh, you can find it here it's really really handy if you would like to work uh, precise in Rhino so um, well that's why I have end so you have near it, it means it will just uh, stick to every point on your line you see, these uh, lines are becoming kind of magnetic and uh, a middle point, center of a circle, for example, intersection, perpendicular, tangus. So you can try them all. Uh, I only need the end for now. So I just take it here and put it here. And then I push escape. So you see, you actually, you don't need to work with um, these views yeah, I, I think it's I, I don't really like it because you well I prefer this because you just can use the references uh, reference points and um, well you, you'll see for the more uh, examples on that uh, well uh, I still have my ceiling in the layer of the floor I would like to change that so I first I'll make a I'll call the layer uh, like a roof enter I select it and then I go to properties and you see uh, I have uh, selected this one and you see all the properties of this uh, volume and it's floor layer and I can just I'm going to change it to this. so you see it came blue like a layer we've created uh, just in case if you don't have these two windows it can happen um, you just for example properties you just start typing it here and uh, it's like magic is uh, appears and uh, the same with layers if you don't have 
this uh, menu here just start typing layers and you will get it right away okay the roof I would like to change uh, the color yeah like that you see now we built a nice volume uh, I would like to show you some before I start making uh, windows and doors I would like to give you some um, idea about uh, working with uh, Rhino and building the models. I always use some kind of reference uh, field like that and before I start uh, cutting the holes or adjusting the volume I just copy this one. Let's copy it all with this uh, uh, shape around it. I'll copy just like that and then the escape you see just because if something will happen then you will lose uh, one volume well for now it's really a simple one but uh, in the future if you start working with uh, more complicated models it's very easy to uh, go back one step behind and just uh, restore your model or to remodel it in a different way so th that's it for now i uh, see you in the second video for the explanation about building the doors and the windows.